Hi, I'm Julie McCaffrey from the Chicago Botanic Garden, and we're here in a natural area that we're monitoring plants for plants of concern. We're going to talk to Suzanne Macy about the project. Suzanne, tell us what you do at the garden. Well, my title at the garden, garden is Manager of Regional Floristics, which means I study the native plants of the region, and I particularly work with the rarest plants, the endangered and threatened and rare plants of our region, and I've been working with plants of concern now since 2001, monitoring rare plants with volunteers. How many volunteers do you work with? Well, every year we've had about more than 200 volunteers. It grows every year. We get new recruits uh, any given year. Uh, altogether, we've worked with more than 400 different volunteers who are trained to do this work. Wonderful. So when you come to a location like this, um, what's the first thing you do? Well, the first thing we do is we, we have a, a a standardized monitoring form that we use all over the region so we're getting the same kind of data everywhere we go and we can compare it then. Um, so we, we come out with this and we first thing we need to do is locate the plants. After we find the plants we start flagging them. Uh, we use bright orange or pink or white flags and uh, if it's a large population, we monitor clusters of plants. If it's a small population, we can monitor every single plant in the population, which is what we've done here today. We found about uh, 25 plants of the eared false foxglove. Tell us why this plant is endangered and why you're monitoring it. Well, this is a, a threatened species in the state of Illinois. It's an annual species, and because it's an annual species, it tends to fluctuate. Uh, some years there will be hundreds of plants. Some years there will be only a few. We're not quite sure why, and we're trying to determine why. This year, for example, we only found about, well, we don't have the count yet, but 25 or 30 plants, and we found in the same area 100 plants last year. So we are concerned about that, but we do see annual fluctuations in this particular species. Um, there are only a few locations in the Chicago region and in the state of Illinois, which is why it is considered uh, threatened in the state. And what, what are the major threats to rare and endangered plants? Well, there are a number. I've been thinking about this. Uh, I think the biggest threat has been and continues the loss of habitat. Uh, this preserve is a nature preserve. It is preserved for posterity. Um, beyond that, invasive species. Everybody talks about that. And one of the things we look for in every population is what invasive species are present. Um, deer browse um, definitely impacts population. And we, we look at that as a threat. Uh, uh, human recreational use. Uh, is sometimes uh, is often a problem if it's not regulated and monitored. And what can we do to mitigate the threats? Well, our data is sent. Uh, we don't just put it on a shelf for you know science. We we pass this along. Every population we monitor, we send the report. This you know three-page report electronically to each land manager. Uh, or landowner, and they then have the information they need, what what the threats are in the population, um, that they can take steps to remediate. Um, beyond that, we since we're gathering data all over the region and more than 200 species in more than uh, 400 different locations, uh, we are getting a regional view of what's working. Um, how will the Plant Science Center help you with your work? First of all, it will give plants of concern more visibility and, and more support, we hope. Uh, for example, additional volunteers in the program, that would be great. I think it's, it's a great resource in the sense that all of us will be in the same place working together and can really interact much more easily. And people will get a sense of the big picture of the science we're doing at the Botanic Garden on plants.